From signs to paper lanterns to the steam bao buns, this might look like China, but we're actually in Songkla, one of Thailand's oldest cities. Swati Kap. So how did the Chinese take over this town? And why didn't the Thai king just kick them out? Go back 200 years ago to China, where people were starving because of war. Many people left, many boarded boats and looked for a new life. Some people came to the southern part of Thailand, here to Songkla, like the family of a friend of mine, Mr. Shanin. My great-great-grandfather come from China, and then they set up a family here in, in Thailand, in Songkla. The Chinese who came to Songkla they didn't get any kind of financial support from the Thai king. In fact, they didn't have his permission to come here in the first place. But they were really hard workers, and they saved their money. And the first thing they did in the town was to start to build shrines to house their gods, like this one, which is now today called the City Pillar Shrine. When you migrate to another land or other countries, you'll be very uh, adventure, many risks that they have to, to deal with. I think the god uh, can support you. A spirit to fight. After a few years, everyone made a lot of money in Songkla. The king back in Bangkok, he took notice of these Chinese who had crashed his kingdom. And he could have sent his army here and just crushed the Chinese and kicked them out, let Thais take over their jobs and their businesses. But instead of crushing or kicking the Chinese out, he decided to lift them up. He elevated Songkla from a small village to an official Thai city. And he also built this big city wall. Uh, he wanted to uh, make Songkla a very strong home for the government in the southern part of Thailand. To prove to the Chinese that they were now an official part of his kingdom, King Rama III sent an extra special gift. It's called a city pillar. In Thailand, we have a tradition that when we, you will build a new houses, that you will put the first column into the ground. City pillars were normally set up in Buddhist temples because the king and the Thais were Buddhist. But in Songkla, the Thai king allowed the Chinese to put the official city pillar inside of the Chinese shrine, next to all the other Chinese gods. And in doing so, he made a very important symbolic statement. He was saying that although the Chinese had come here illegally and had a different religion, they were still a welcome part of his kingdom. Since that time, Songkla throws a big party once a year at the City Pillar Shrine. The first day we have the raising the lanterns. Uh, in the old time, they have no electricity. So when uh, the temple raised the lantern on the very high pole, uh, the villagers, they can see that the temple has a festival. The festival has started. On the second night, all of Songkla's politicians come to the shrine to publicly honor the city pillar and the Chinese gods, whether they have Chinese ancestry or not. Together, everyone walks around the shrine. And the second day is, uh, is a light waving. It's like you light a candle and uh, uh, you walk around the temple to dispel the bad luck. On the last day of the festival, the gods are carried throughout the town. It's a tradition that the, the gods go to visit the houses so they can bless them to make them uh, safe and prosperous. We carry around the old town. Every god uh, in the temple, they go together. The north of firecracker is to expel the devil. Yeah, that makes them scared. The drum, the bell, something like that, to drive the, the bad spirit away. That's like an uh, altar. That's uh, like the house altar put it alongside the road. Uh, when the procession come in, they light the joysticks and they pray it, and they put the, 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 the joystick in the palanquins also. Then the God blessing them. Today, Songkla is one of the richest cities in Thailand. Here is the Chinese. And the next road is the Muslims, and the next road is the Thai. We are in a very uh, tolerant uh, society yeah, that we can accept their uh, difference in belief. Yeah. <laughs> 